Hello, this is Al, K0CN, and I'd like to spend a moment talking to you about preparing your station for a new amplifier such as the Alpha 9500, the Alpha 8410, or the Alpha 8406. First of all, these amplifiers are capable of delivering full legal power, 1500 watts, and at that level require 220 volts at 20 amps. You'll need to be mindful of where you place the power outlet so that the cord to the amplifier can be kept at a minimal length. You'll also need to consider the type of power plug used at the end of your power cord. And of course, this will depend on the current rating of your circuit and local codes and ordinances. The next consideration is RF cabling. When you deliver power from the exciter to the amplifier, it's okay to use RG58 or RG8X. However, these two cables are not large enough to handle the power from the amplifier being delivered to the antenna. For this, you'll need RG8 or some larger cable capable of handling 1500 watts. Next, we'll need to consider the air used for cooling the amplifier. The air is drawn in through a port on the rear of the chassis. It circulates through and is exhausted out the top, a port above the uh, amplifier tube. These input and outlet spaces need to be clear of obstructions by a minimum of three inches. Finally, we need to consider the antenna and antenna components. Make sure that the antennas you intend to use with the amplifier are capable of handling 1500 watts at a minimum and that the duty cycle of those components is also in accordance with your intended use. This concludes a short list of considerations as you prepare your station for your new amplifier. Good luck with your installation.